Minnesota's second congressional district stretches from the South Metro past Wabasha. This year, incumbent Democrat Angie Craig faces a challenge from Republican newcomer Tyler Kistner. To get the job done, send the Marine. Kistner has made his nine years in the U.S. Marine Corps Special Operations Forces a central theme of his quest for Congress. We're on the 40th mile of our 100 mile run across the district. The 33 year old Minnesota native logged 100 miles running through the second district this summer and became a dad for the second time in the middle of the campaign. Someone who is going to fight to rebuild this economy, to bring it back to the economic highs that we had in January with the economic lows in unemployment. Someone who's going to always stand with our law enforcement and keep our communities safe. So proud that we've been able to add a number of Republican co-sponsors to this bill. Incumbent Angie Craig was an executive at medical device company St. Jude Medical before jumping into politics in 2016. She lost a close race that year to Jason Lewis, but in a rematch two years later, Craig flipped the second district from red to blue and won a trip to Congress. In her first term, Craig's had two bills signed into law by President Trump. One cracked down on overpayments by federal agencies. The other allowed small businesses to apply for a second round of Paycheck Protection Program aid. That one garnered Craig an award from the U.S. Chamber of Commerce. I have worked with this president when he's right. I have stood up to the administration when I believed that it was not the right thing for the second congressional district. That is what I intend to do. The second district race was thrown into disarray in September when Adam Weeks, the legal marijuana now party candidate, suddenly died. Minnesota law prescribed that the election should be postponed until February and the seat in Congress be left vacant. But Craig sued in federal court to keep it on track for November. The second district was reliable Republican territory for many years, but Angie Craig's victory in 2018 proved that Democrats can win there. For Care 11 News, I'm John Croman.